Hey everyone, welcome back to WaterWatch. In today's snowpack update, we're going over the latest snow levels across the western U.S. and discussing how March has brought significant gains to many areas. With multiple storms hitting the region, March is shaping up to be a miracle March, with snowpack levels improving rapidly in some states. Let's take a look at the current snowpack numbers and see how much of a difference March's storms have made. Starting with California, snowpack is currently at 96% of normal. While it's still slightly below average, March has brought some much-needed snow to the Sierra Nevada, especially in the Northern California and Trinity areas. The snowpack has been recovering, though it still has a bit of ground to cover. In Oregon, snowpack is at 143% of normal. Oregon has been doing very well with heavy snow in the Cascades and Coast Range, and the state is now well above average for this time of year. The snow accumulation in March has really boosted the numbers, keeping Oregon in strong shape. Over in Washington, snowpack is at 98% of normal. The state has seen some solid snow in the Cascades and Olympic Mountains in March, helping snowpack stay close to average. Despite a dry January, February, and March have made a positive impact. In Idaho, snowpack is at 115% of normal. The state has seen significant snow accumulation this month, and Idaho's mountains, particularly the Sawtooth and Clearwater Ranges, have benefited from the March storms. The state is looking great for this time of year. Montana has snowpack at 101% of normal. Montana's snowpack is at a solid level after receiving some good snow in March. The storms have helped boost snow levels in the Rocky Mountains and surrounding areas, keeping the state near average for this time of year. In Wyoming, snowpack is at 104% of normal. Wyoming has had a good snow month, particularly in the Teton Mountains and Wind River Range, pushing snow levels slightly above average. The state has seen solid snowstorms this March, making it one of the stronger states for snow coverage. Over in Colorado, snowpack is at 92% of normal. Despite a slower start to the season, Colorado has seen some positive snow accumulation in the Rockies this month. Although snowpack levels are a little below average, the recent storms have helped improve conditions and more snow is expected. In Utah, snowpack is at 102% of normal. Utah's snowpack has remained close to average throughout the season, and March has seen several storms that have kept the snowpack in the central and northern part of the state strong. The state is holding steady, and snowpack is in a good position moving forward, although the southern part of the state is still much below normal. For Nevada, snowpack is at 109% of normal. Nevada has received some great snowfall in March, particularly in the Western and Ruby Mountains, which has helped boost snow levels above average. The state is looking solid with plenty of snowpack to carry through the spring. Arizona has snowpack at 54% of normal. Although Arizona has had a historically dry winter, March has brought some snow to the San Francisco peaks and higher elevations. While the snowpack is still well below normal, the slight improvement is a positive sign for the state. Finally, in New Mexico, snowpack is at 59% of normal. New Mexico has had a difficult winter, but the snowstorms in March have helped improve snow levels slightly. The state remains below average, and additional snow would be needed in the coming weeks to increase snowpack levels. And let's not forget Alaska, which is currently at 88% of normal. Alaska has had a solid snow season, and while it's not quite at the average, the snow levels are still looking good as we head into the spring months. So, to summarize, California is at 96%. Oregon is at 143%. Washington is at 98%. Idaho is at 115%. Montana is at 101%. Wyoming is at 104%. Colorado is at 92%. Utah is at 102%. Nevada is at 109%. Arizona is at 54%. New Mexico is at 59%.
Alaska is at 88%. As you can see, March has been a big month for snowpack recovery across many areas in the western U.S., especially in states like Oregon, Idaho, and Nevada, where snowpack levels are above average. California and Colorado are still catching up, but thanks to the snowstorms, they've seen significant improvements. Arizona and New Mexico, however, are still facing below-average snowpack, and they'll need more snow to recover fully before the spring melt. Looking ahead, we'll have to keep an eye on how the storms continue to affect snowpack levels in the coming weeks. The next few days should be dry and quite warm across most of the western states, with storms returning to finish out the month and for the first week of April. March has proven to be a miracle month, and we're hopeful that the snow will keep coming, especially for the regions that need it most. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more snowpack updates and weather news. Let me know in the comments how the weather has been in your area, and we'll see you in the next video.